acceleration is the rate of change in velocity what are we saying we're saying that a is equals to the change in the velocity divided by the change in time that is 4.1 let's look at 4.2 and 4.2.1 use the graph to describe the motion of the car in the following sections 4.2.1 we are interested in the section a b we can see that at t is equals to zero our velocity is zero meters per second and at t is equals to 20 seconds our velocity is 10 meters per second so what can we say about that how can we describe that motion we can say that with regards to the velocity uh, the velocity increases from zero to 10 meters per second in 20 seconds and with regards to the acceleration we can say that we have a positive constant acceleration we have a positive and constant acceleration as we can see in our graph we have a straight line if your velocity time graph is a straight line then that acceleration is constant in this instance it is positive because our velocity is actually increasing that's what we can say about the section a b let's look at the following equation 4.2.2 with regards to c d so at c we have a velocity of 40 meters per second at d we have a velocity of 40 meters per second so you can see that the velocity is not changing so with regards to the velocity we can say that the velocity remains constant there is no increase or decrease in the velocity in that section what about acceleration what can we see about acceleration what is the acceleration when vi is equal to vf when velocity remains unchanged acceleration is equal to the change in velocity divided by the change in time if there's no change in the velocity then the acceleration will be zero meters per second squared so we can say that the acceleration is equals to zero 4.2.3 which section are we interested in now ef let's look at section ef so at e our velocity is zero meters per second at f our velocity is zero meters per second with regards to velocity we can say that the velocity is zero uh, this would imply that the car is at rest the car is at rest we started with a velocity of zero and the final velocity is also equals to zero so there's no movement the car is not moving and what can we say about the acceleration obviously if there is no change in the velocity then the acceleration will be zero meters per second squared let's move to 4.3 in 4.3 the equation is saying that so let's calculate the acceleration of the car between d and e the acceleration of the car between d and e there's two ways of doing this first of all if you have a velocity time graph you can use the gradient to find the acceleration if you don't want to do that then you can just use your equations of motion but let's do both let's use the gradient first and then we're going to move to equations of motions if we use the gradient what we're saying is that the gradient of a velocity time graph is equals to the acceleration uh, this will be v final minus v initial divided by time final minus time initial this is the same as saying v2 minus v1 divided by t2 minus t1 which is what you do in math when you want to find the gradient you say y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 this is exactly what we're going to do here but the only difference is that our y is velocity and our x is time so what is the final velocity at e that is zero minus the initial velocity at d that is 40 meters per second everything divided by t final the time at e that is 60 seconds minus the time at d it is 50 seconds so that will be minus 50. Mm. if you put that in your calculator you should get minus 4. but that minus is just giving us the direction so we can conclude and say that our acceleration is 4 meters per second squared to the opposite direction before watching me do it can you just pause the video and try using equations of motions to answer these questions using the approach i showed you 
on the previous questions if you did that then you shall realize that we have an initial velocity of 40 meters per second and we have a final velocity of zero meters per second another thing we have is the change in time which is equals to 60 minus 50 that is just 10 seconds the equation that you use with these variables if you're looking for the acceleration is vf is equals to vi plus a delta t so what is vf vf is zero what is vi that is 40 meters per second plus the acceleration multiplied by the time if we take 40 to the left hand side we're gonna get minus 40 being equals to a multiplied by 10 we're going to divide both sides by 10. If we do that, we're going to get an acceleration that is equal to minus 4. Again, minus 4 is just the direction. So the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared to the opposite direction.